Welcome back to Will It Shoe. This week we have a very special treat for you because we're using some of my favourite fabric ever. Linen. Our friends at Flax London have sent us a couple of um, unused samples that they had lying around. And you know, with this being Will It Shoe, we're gonna see if we can turn them into shoes. Linen is often relegated to the idea of floaty summer dresses or light shirts for hot weather but there's actually a huge range of different linen fabrics out there, which can be used for very, very different purposes. The team at Flax founded their business with the idea of using linens for things that they maybe weren't originally intended. So upholstery linens for jacket or suiting linens for shirting. This one in particular is a nine and a half ounce linen from a mill in Ireland. Its intended usage was for suiting, but it makes a really, really lovely winter shirt, like a little bit heavier and not what you'd expect from linen. I mentioned at the start that linen is one of my absolute favorite fabrics and there are so many reasons why. It's incredibly durable as a fiber, which means that you end up with a really, really strong cloth. It's really, really breathable, which stops sort of moisture building up, makes it a bit of a hypoallergenic fabric and also just much more comfortable to wear. As a plant, it requires such little intervention when compared to things like cotton, no pesticides, completely minimal water usage. And you can also use the rest of the plant to make oils or insulation. It's just wonderful. So as a particularly durable material, I'm really excited to see how this translates into shoes. Not sure whether it might need a little bit of reinforcement material just to keep shape, but if you've seen any of the other fabric shoes that we have done, they typically turn out pretty great. So off to the workshop with this and very excited to see what comes back.
Oh, they're great. I just love, I know I've spoken about it already, but I just love the texture of linen. Oh, hang. First of all, the color is just delicious. Um, and the texture that's there on the shoes. Fabric shoes so far have been going great. Like they always seem to just have like, they, they obviously just work in this manufacturing process, but it does look like we have a little pull on the toe box here. So this could be one potentially for a different style. One thing to note is that I've only noticed these sort of toe box tears on the fabric shoes since we started using our new lasting machine. I assume it's been set up to work with the leather that we mostly put through production, but I've been informed that it is adjustable, so it might just be a little tweak of the machines and the processors just to see if that improves things a little bit here. We did speak on the Barber episode about um, do, like doing it in a different style. So our Bolsover style over the Mella has additional bits of suede, which will just give it that, give in the lasting process. So I think this could be one to revisit in a different style because other than that, the rest of the shoe just looks so good. Nice little detail again. It's when we, when we find these materials and there's a bit of contrast detail on the fabric, it's always just kind of Nice to know that that's gonna go somewhere special on the shoe, like the heel. Again, an unbound edge. I think the fabric just being folded round is, is enough to keep these edges strong. And contrary to my usual musings on soles, I actually think they look better with a white sole. I think a gum sole, actually not, I don't know. Gum sole would work so well, but they just, they pop against the white. And I think that's really important for the design of them. Love it. Great, would love to see them with that nose sorted out. I don't think we've really set up any criteria for whether it's shoed or not, whether a small flaw like that is a fail or whether it just needs more thought. A big part of this was to see whether we could do a production run of a collaboration with Flax. So I think revisiting this and fixing these issues first is gonna be on the cards because I would love to see that go to production. Um, I've already waxed in the intro about why linen is so great, so I won't do that again. But yeah, let us know what you think. Linen shoes, yay or nay? Should we put the effort in and get this collab going? Let us know. Usual place down in the comments. And until next time, see ya. I definitely need a new chip.